Hello there artists, Mrs. Langless here and today we are going to be working on the artwork that you see right in front of you here. It is a painting while it also uses something left over from one of our past projects. So um, you might remember that we were just working on actually creating a butterfly and we made that by folding a piece of paper of course and then cutting it out. So here is my leftovers from that. You can see mine, uh oh. There it is. Um, here is my leftovers um, from that. So if you still have held on to that, keep it handy because you will need it for this particular project. Um, if you don't have it, I'll also show you a workaround later on. So let's get started. First, you are going to need some type of paint. Now today I am using um, tempera cakes, which are a lot like watercolors. Um, but the paint colors are a little bit more um, solid instead of um, see-through. So here are my colors that I'm gonna use today. And they need to be activated by water, just like watercolors. So I've got my cup of water and my brush already. So if you need to gather those things, please do and pause the video. The other thing that you will need is a piece of paper, of course, um, and later on you will need a glue stick. And as I mentioned, um, if you have that leftover cutout that we made of our butterfly, um, that will be something you'll need later on too. All right, so this I have to share with you is one of my favorite, favorite projects because my mother actually taught me this. This was one of the first artworks that I ever remember doing um, when I was very, very little. Um, and it's really fun, not just for butterflies, but just kind of in general. So I think you guys are gonna love it. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my piece of paper that I just showed you, and I'm actually just gonna fold it in half. So I'm just taking it over, and I like to line up my edges first. Once my edges are lined up, then I push back and make my crease. All right, now I'm gonna open it up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add colors on this side of the fold right here. You can see where the fold is, and then we're gonna end up folding our paper in half, just like so, to create some really cool effects. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my paint wet so that I can activate it. And you really do want um, your uh, paper to be quite wet for this. Uh, so just make sure that if you have paints that require you, you know, if you're, they're not liquid paints, you will need to make sure that they are very watery or liquidy. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with a couple of colors here, and I'm really not very concerned. I'm just kind of putting little splotches of color down here of whatever I'd like to use. Um, and again, I'm really just kind of loading the colors on here to create some, you know, beautiful areas of color. And you do wanna go all the way to the edge. And you also wanna work relatively quickly because you want your paints to still be wet when you go to fold them. Now, if they end up not being wet, you can always add some more paint to it after you fold it too. And I'll show you in just a second. So I'm just continuing to add and I'm looking at it and seeing, okay, I think I wanna add a little bit more here cause it doesn't look quite wet enough and right here as well. Maybe I'll add a little dot right there and right there and right there. Okay, now that I've got this really cool half of the paper, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it and then just use my fingers to smooth it down. Now what's this, what this is doing is it's transferring the paint on one side of the paper to the other so that it will be a mirror reflection. It will be the same on both sides. So it will be symmetric, just like our butterfly. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Now, here is where it gets kind of interesting. So see these little white parts, the parts that didn't quite transfer because there wasn't enough paint. So what I'm gonna do to fix that is I'm just gonna come back and I'm gonna add in some more color. And maybe I'll do some up toward the top edge here too, because I really do want it to be um, you know, very colorful. So anywhere where you see that it's not quite 
painted, then fold again. Okay, and I'm just gonna smooth it out. What I love about this process is that it's different every time and there's no such thing as a mistake, which is wonderful. All right, oh, I'm loving how that looks. Now, of course, this artwork is wet, so we can't do anything with it right at the moment. So I am going to put this to the side and let it dry. Now, since this is for a video, I of course already have a bunch of these that are dry. So I'm gonna show you the next step. You will have to wait to work on yours until yours dries. Hopefully that won't take too terribly long, but let me show you. So I've got a couple of finished ones here that I just love. This one's actually kind of similar to um, the color colors that I just did. And here's another one. Ooh, this one is super cool. And then I've got this one right here. So just a variety. Now what I'm going to do with this finished dry piece is I'm actually going to take my cutout from before and uncap my glue. I am going to cover the back of my cutout with the glue so that it will stick down. And then when I'm all done covering it with my glue stick, I'm going to flip it over and then try to line it up as best I can. So what happens is that cutout creates this really beautiful shape on our paint and voila, there is our finished beautiful butterfly. Now, as I mentioned, if you forgot and your paper cutout is nowhere to be found, I wanna show you a workaround for this. And it's actually kind of a review of what we've already done. So here is that beautiful um, one that I just showed you a minute ago. And remember your butterfly that you made when we folded the piece of paper? We're actually just going to, whoops, repeat that step. So I am just going to fold my piece of paper in half, okay? And then I am going to start cutting out a butterfly shape. So I'm gonna start first with the head or the body. Now I'm gonna come out with a wing shape and curve it back down. And remember, you know, my wings a lot of times will look different every single time. And you can draw this ahead of time too. That, that is helpful for getting the shapes right. So if you'd like to use a pencil and just draw out your butterfly, you may do that. And now I'm just going to round it down here and check this out. Open it up and look at that. I've got a beautiful butterfly. So there is an option for if you didn't have that outline. You'll still end up with a beautiful butterfly made from our painted paper. So hope you enjoyed this video guys and making your gorgeous, gorgeous butterflies. Here's my finished one again and I will see you guys next week. Have a great rest of your day.